Welcome back, 2013 Chevy Cruze 1.8 liter, non-turbo. Um, it's got a misfire. Um, so I'm gonna show you, I've already kind of gone through it, but I'm gonna show you what I did, and then we're gonna fix it. So I wanted to show you, right in the screen here, right here, cylinder number one, misfires. So it's definitely cylinder number one that has a misfire. Engine is running rough too. Uh, you'll get to see that in a minute here. I'll, I'll show you what I, I did. I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I thought was the easiest way to go, which is just check for spark. Um, let's see if uh, I have spark. This is a coil pack, which is all four get replaced at once. So let me show you how I set it up. I've got this coils out of it. I'll just I'll unhook it again. <clears throat> I'll show you this connector, but it's a little bit of a pain. It's got a lock on it. And you have to you gotta really you gotta really kind of dig into it a little bit to get it to come loose. I'll show you what it looks like before it comes off. I know I had a tough time with it the first time. Trying to get it loose, disconnect. I didn't want to break it. And it's just it's a pain. It's just a pain. There's no other good way to say it. It's a pain. I had, I had to get in here with a pick, and I'll show you. I'll give you a close-up of it in a minute. There it goes. I got it. So that's, there's two bolts, T30 in here. Took them out. This is pretty tight. you got to kind of reach in and just kind of wiggle loose, trying not to break it. Pull this out. After you disconnect that connector, I'll show you that. I did. I'll show you a close-up of this connector. Here's the connector plugged into the end of this coil, under these coils. Initially, this is pushed in, and you've got to pull it out. Let's see if I can do it here. Let's see if I can show you. I'm going to plug it in again. I don't like this thing. It's a pain. But this gets pushed in like that. You have to pull that out carefully. Hopefully, I won't break it doing it. Pull this lock out like that. Then you've got to push down in here. What I found was I had to go in here with a pick and kind of get underneath of this once that locks I'm done and pry it up a little bit. Once I got to pry it up a little bit then I can wiggle it off but it's really tight in there. It's really tough even now. It's giving me a hard time. Yeah, And then it comes off. A little bit of a pain but be careful with it. Try not to break it. You got one, two, three, four. Pretty simple. I did find one thing in that the spark well, the spark plug well for number two, probably had an inch and a half of oil in it. So it's got a bad valve cover gasket as well. So I'm going to need to do that at some point here, not too distant future. But what I did was I took leads, took some of my electrical leads, I grounded them, put one into the ground, I grounded a couple on the block and one on the um, battery. I put this back facing up like this and I put my leads into three of the four so I could to ground them out. I want to ground them out. You want to ground them? Ground them out so they don't you don't take the chance of burning out a driver. And then I took my fourth, not my fourth, my uh, scope on the rope, as Eric would say. Eric go. Make sure it's plugged in, connected to uh, battery negative, and I'm gonna see if I get a spark out of here and test this. I'm gonna have somebody hold the pedal to the floor, clear flood mode, crank it, and while they're cranking it. I'm going to hold that test light and see if we get a spark. So I'm looking at cylinder one. I've got the other three grounded. Go ahead. Okay. No spark in cylinder one. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Go ahead, crank it. I got this spark in that cylinder. All right, stop. So cylinder one, where I had all the misfires. Let me back you up some. It had no spark at all. It was dead. Just nothing. So two looked fine. I did the same thing on three and four. Tested them. They look fine. No problem. So it's got a bad coil. Yes, it's outside and yes, it's night. Because I need to work to get an extra bay and get that so I could use it. And now both of my bays are full. On both of them. So it's okay. This shouldn't take long. It shouldn't. Last words.
Well, they got grease in them already. I don't have to do that. Stick this in here and then let me show you the part number. I'll show you the part number for this. This is GM. I don't go with aftermarket for this stuff. Just, it's not a good idea. In it. Let's see how it runs. Let me get my scanner, hook the scanner up, take a look at the misfire information. Let's see, uh, misfire counters right now. Hopefully, you can read that. They're all at zero. I'm going to take it for a test drive, but I have no misfires now. This was counting up really, really fast before because there's a dead miss on cylinder one. It's just completely dead, no spark, but that was it. It's fixed. Let's go uh, test drive it and make sure. I want to show you the uh, part number because I forgot. That's GM part number. Hopefully you can see that. 251-866-2. Right from GM, made in Korea. That's what the issue was. Took it out, test drove it, watched, watched the scanner. No misfires at all. Uh, and it had a dead misfire on cylinder one before. So, pretty simple fix. Not, not bad at all. Um, if you have this problem with your Chevy Cruze, this is the non turbo version, 1.8. Um, but, you know, ignition checks apply to the turbo as well. I hope it helps you out. If you like the videos, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.